Hey boys and girls, this is Yaakov Prupis from the Israeli Trenchless Academy. Today I'm going to show you two cool tricks. You might know them, you might not, but I think it's going to help you with your, with your patches. We all know when we want to uh, patch over a, a, a junction or a T or a Y, a lot of times you get that silicate resin pouring into the branch and you get a silicate uh, slug. And then reinstatement takes a long time. Uh, you know, the, the flex shaft keeps jumping off course and you could possibly damage the branch itself. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, not a cal tube, but we're gonna take a pre-liner. It's very, very thin. It's meant for um, uh, putting in a, in a pipe before you line it. So it's a little bit larger than the inner diameter of our pipe. So we're gonna put a pre-liner over our patch and that's going to prevent the, the resin slug from penetrating inside, but it's thin enough and wide enough that the patch will, uh, will press out and pack out into the pipe like it needs to. What we're going to do though is we're actually going to make it a little bit smaller than the patch so the patch does adhere to the, the pipe at the two edges. I'm going to go about 10 centimeters on each side. Uh, number two, um, I'm going to show you how to impregnate a sleeve. This is a felt sleeve. I generally use uh, uh, a glass liner nowadays, glass liner with silicate. I'm going to use silicate for this, even though obviously epoxy is what you want to use with, uh, with a felt liner. Um, but I'm going to show you how to wet it out. There's no uh, correct way to skin a cat, or there's many ways to skin a cat. Uh, so whatever works for you. Uh, there is a wrong way, and that is if, it's, if you don't wet it out properly and you have, you have dry spots, that's not going to be good. And that can happen if you don't have the right technique. What some people do is they put the liner on the packer. Okay, they're gonna put it on the packer at first. And sometimes I do this myself, and then they're gonna pour the resin on there, and they're gonna really get that in there. One of the problems is it's kind of hard to see if you've uh, did a good you did a good job of wetting it out. That's number one. And number two, I think it's a longer process uh, than what I'm gonna show you. Uh, number another way to do this is you pour it on the pour it on the sleeve okay and then you really rub it in you keep rubbing it in keep rubbing it in keep rubbing it in uh, but that also i think that takes some time um, and the way to figure out if you've wet it out is you're gonna look inside make sure you see the you don't see any white white color in there what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the resin on top and i'm gonna roll it up and that's gonna really when we roll it up and squeeze it that's gonna get the resin uh, through the through the three li uh, millimeters of felt liner because that's what we want to do. We want to get the resin all the way through the felt liner. So let's get started. All right, now I already mixed up our silicate resin, so I'm going to pour it on a you know a nice amount on each side. I'm first going to give it like a general kind of rub on there just to kind of get it in there. So I'll push it in a little bit, okay, just like that. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm gonna put some more on, so on top. Get all on top, make sure you get all over it, especially the ends over here. All right, really get it in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start rolling it up. And as I roll it up, I'm gonna press it down with my fingers, okay? I'm gonna go about halfway. All right, I'm gonna go halfway. I'm gonna push it there and then I'm gonna push it down with my hand. Then I'm gonna unroll it and do the other side as well. As once again, I'm gonna push that down in the beginning with my fingers. I'm gonna roll it. And I'm gonna push that down. This is really gonna do a great job of wetting it out to make sure that we've actually did a good job. And there's no white spots. Look how beautiful it is inside. You don't see any white in there. Beautiful, I wanna check on both sides and that is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's totally, totally impregnated. No white spots. I see over here a small white spot on this side over here. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just give it a good press back and forth. And that's, that's about it. So it really takes no time to get that in there with no white spots. Now I'm gonna do with the excess resin. Okay, we're gonna go and take our sleeve and I'm just going to take the excess resin. Well, I'm going to put it on the table right now. It doesn't make a difference, but uh, you can put it into a bucket or whatever. Let's take off that excess resin. You don't even really have that much. Okay. I'm going to now switch my gloves. All right. Now we got our gloves on. We're going to slide our sleeve onto the packer. It's going to be easier with two people, but 
I'm gonna slide that on. I already marked where I gotta slide that to. We're good right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna use rubber bands. If you're still using metal ties, I would stop doing metal ties and slide over to rubber bands. As long as you use the right rubber bands and do it right, you're not gonna have any problem. I'm gonna give one in the beginning and I'm gonna do one in the back over here. Once again, if you have two people for this, it's gonna be much easier. I'm just working by myself, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna, we're gonna manage. All right, we're gonna throw that on top there. Okay, I'm gonna do one more in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pre-liner and I'll bring that in the, in the middle of our, the middle of our packer. If you want to be a bit cleaner, you could fold over your plastic, obviously. All right, so now that we have this in the middle of our packer, we're gonna fold this over together with our fiberglass, so we're gonna, with our felt, sorry. So we're gonna fold that over just like this, okay? And we're gonna put some rubber bands on there as well. Once again, better have two guys on this. Have a much better time. Come out much better. All right. That's number one. <laughs> Didn't take down my plastic for this tutorial over here, so that's why I was struggling. All right, I'm gonna fold that over. All right, nice and messy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of pressure over here so it doesn't slide out. Um, I'm just gonna slide it in right here because we're in a workshop over here, but generally you add a little pressure so put some, uh, some resistance on there. Okay guys, we're gonna do a, a quick time warp over here because I don't want you guys seeing this and then making mistakes. Because uh, if you haven't used rubber bands and try to imitate me based on what you saw there, which it wasn't the best wrap, you know, this was just whatever, a tutorial, uh, you're gonna make a mistake. So I'm gonna quickly show you how those rubber bands should be put on. When using rubber bands, you wanna have more rubber bands than when you're using uh, the twist ties, okay? So you're gonna space them, let's say around every 10 centimeters, plus or minus. Um, it, sometimes in the lead, you could kind of double up one right after the next one, and you wanna have really, really, wanna fold it over really well. Once again, when it's, when it's, um, when it's gonna be wet out, it's gonna be difficult, so you're probably gonna want a second hand doing it, okay? Otherwise, it'd take a long time to do it by yourself. One person holds the sleeve, and one person is gonna put the rubber bands on. That's the best way. But now that it's not wet out, it's gonna be easier. So I'm gonna show you how it really should look, okay, with the rubber bands. Um, if you're actually gonna be pushing this out in a pipe and you don't want this, uh, want this to fall off. You can't put on too many rubber bands, right? It's not like metal ties where you can put too many ties and have the trouble popping. You're not gonna put on too many rubber bands. But Maybe you could put too few, but definitely not too much. You really want to get that to wrap it over real nice, okay? Over real nice. I'm not going to do any more. Let's get a closer look over here, all right? It basically should be folded over just like this, all right? And they're going to be evenly spaced. And that's gonna really hold it in place in the front. If it's a hard push, you could put kind of double up. And that's what you want it to look like. Really nice and tight around the packer. And then I said, we're gonna give it a very, very slight inflation, just where you see it, just to start to, to firm and open up and push the pressure on the rubber bands. And, you're, and it's not gonna slide at all. That way you know you got them down right. All right, so let's go back to the video. So I'm gonna flip over this, uh, this plastic. While I do this, okay. All right, so we're gonna flip that over. We're gonna put this guy inside. We're cheating over here, guys. Obviously, we're cheating, but that's okay. All right. We got her nice and centered. 
All right, so we got her nice and centered. And now we're gonna inflate our, our patch. You wanna show right inside of here? Come close to you can see inside, yeah? As you can see, that packed out beautifully without any resin going into the, uh, into the branch. Uh, this uh, this uh, silicon's a bit sticky. That's why I was having a bit of trouble. Once again, when you're doing it, it's probably better uh, when using a, a liner sleeve to have two people. It just makes it a little bit easier. You could do it with one person as I did it, but it's obviously easier to have one guy turn over the sleeve and another guy put the rubber band on, especially when you're using a long, uh, a long liner on that. Uh, so we're gonna wait for it to cure and uh, we're gonna check out the, uh, see what it looks like, but that's the way to do it. All right guys, my, uh, my son right now, Ruvain, is doing the camera for us, so make sure to give a like for Ruvain. Uh, subscribe to the channel to see more, and I uh, hope to see you next time. All right guys, take care.